Today's video is brought to you by Blinkist. Blinkist is an amazing app that condenses nonfiction books into shorter 15-minute in-depth summaries. You can read or listen to the 15-minute encapsulations and start putting what you learn into practical use immediately. I use the Blinkist app to read up on history, better my work productivity, and keep my cognitive abilities as sharp as possible. If you want to try Blinkist out, the first 100 people to go to the link in the description get an unlimited 7-day free trial, which you can cancel at any time. If you decide you love Blinkist, you'll also get 25% off your yearly membership. Blinkist. Just click the link and try it out. Cuando era vago, cuando era jefe de pandilla y me agarraba con puñales. Y esto es con hecho, no es mentira. Yo no juego con muñeca, como Oscar. Ni estudio con la falda de mi mamá. Tonight, he is the challenger. The former junior lightweight, former junior welterweight, former two-time welterweight, former two-time super welterweight, and former WBO middleweight champion of the world. The Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. I think there could be instantaneous fireworks here. Here we go. Opening round. Oscar is not dancing. Big shot by Ogden's hurt. This could be it. He's down for a second time. My Ogden is disoriented. Tú le faltaste respeto a dos cosas que yo amo. Dos cosas. Ayer dijiste algo de mi esposa. Y ahora. Mencionaste mi raza y con eso no se juega y te voy a noquear. Mayo 6 te voy a noquear. Can Moroga stave him off? He's not moving. Good shot here by De La Hoya. And Oscar went in to apply the finishing blows. Finish him. Big shots and that is it. Jay Nady does step in. That defense wanted to put TB12's pelt right on the wall. Brady's gonna step up. Gentlemen! Everybody was talking about how great Seattle's defense is. <laughs> what did Brady do? He did the same thing. The bigger the game, the better he is. And Brady, two scores in the fourth quarter. And for the touchdown. 
<laughs> Were you surprised that the Patriots came back against this defense? No, down? because Brady, I always tell my friends, never pick against Brady. Down three as we near the 215 mark of the fourth. The Patriots with a second and goal to go. The ball inside the lane. They've been down by double digits. They've been down 10 points, and they've won each of those four times. Touchdown, Patriots! We've seen Tom Brady do so, so many, many times, times, including the Super Bowl. As the legend of Brady grows. Things seem dire. What do you do in life? You go right to people that you can depend on. The time has come for us to act. Please knock them down. They bench 25. They bench two. 21 in. You are about to die at the hands of the children of Thanos. Down to half a minute. Intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. Malcolm Butler. Uh, the greatest quarterback ever is Mr. Great. Period. Period. Two more stones on us. Many have felt that Foreman's psyche was materially damaged by the disaster in Zaire of 15 months ago. Foreman's stamina having become suspect in the Zaire affair. After the defeat, the mystique of Foreman had vanished. The intimidating bully destroyer of worlds persona was replaced by questions about Foreman's boxing skills. If Foreman is to come back and get another shot at the crown, he must win this fight and it would help to win it impressive. The face of George Foreman, and for that matter, of Ron Lyle, each speaking for itself. Just look at this. He would immediately be tested by fellow brawler, Ron Lyle. We're about to bring you what we think promises to be a slugfest, a legitimate heavyweight contest. One of the great back and forth wars in boxing history. A good right by Lyle, and he's got Foreman in trouble. He's got him in trouble. I was hit so hard I didn't even feel it until I hit the canvas. Foreman is down! It started with a right, then a left. I've never been hit so hard in my life. Now Foreman's fighting back. Foreman trying to hold together. Now, now George struck back. Now, now George fought back with a magnificent right. If every boxing match, world title match, would have ended like George Foreman run Lyle heavyweight title match, there wouldn't be any UFC. <laughs> some punches, and just speaking in general terms, you've said some punches are so ferocious that they don't hurt. They actually will interrupt communication between the tower and the ground. And Foreman goes down! Foreman goes down! Wild fights back! Again, if only it had hurt, I would, have got, would not have gotten up. It just, it was like it, you are no longer the same person. You see your legs wiggle and you're not in control of yourself. spectacular fashion how do you decide what you want to do when you go up in the air you know what kind of dunk you're gonna do vince carter is widely recognized as the greatest dunker ever half man half amazing in what would become arguably the greatest dunk contest performance ever this guy was doing stuff Thank Back you. in the day, these kids still can't do to this day. I really thought the top was going to come off of the building. I have never seen that before. Here is the man that this crowd wants to see. This is what everybody's been waiting for. It's the climax of the night, and we're going to see what Vince Carter can really do. Right here is Vince Carter with his first. I was in another world. I felt like Mario just powered up to Super Mario. Let's go home! Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen! Let's go home! This building just exploded. 
you dunk it and put your arm. Greatest dunker ever was Vince Carter. Vince Carter. I might, I might have to go with Vince Carter also. Over Michael. That was a dream of mine, a lifelong dream. Being in the dunk contest was a lifelong dream. I wasn't afraid to fail. You remember the reactions of Shadow, KG, Webb? I mean, you talk about guys who've seen dunk contests, sure. seen you dunk. Mm -hmm. It was just different. Surprising absolutely no one, Vince Carter won. You, you and Vince? You think you would have got it there? No. <laughs> why? No, I will enter into things <laughs> I know I can win. I <laughs> see. That's why I won. Air Canada made its way to Australia to compete in the Olympics. Yes, crowd wants another quarter alley. Up. Frederick Bice, the Olympics 2000. Oh, He'll buddy. forever be known. <laughs> you, got, you ruined his life. So in the Olympics, for those who don't know, I jumped over a seven foot two guy in, in the game. With one of the most iconic dunks in the history of the game. <laughs> Crowd still ooing and eyeing. As Vince Carter got them fired up. He was now an Olympic gold medalist. In the divisional round of the playoffs, things did not go according to plan. Wide open is Stills, and no one near him for a Houston touchdown on the opening drive. Would have had the first down. Blocked! And it's picked up by the Texans to run it in for the touchdown. It's Lonnie Johnson with the recovery up the ramp. He goes. And the Texans stunning everyone here in Kansas City in the opening minutes. Third and five. Lady, Would have had a first down. DeAndre Hopkins wide to the right. Snap. Right at him. And it zips it over the middle. And it's going to be caught for a Texan touchdown to Fells. The Texans have a three touchdown lead in the first quarter. And at that point, you could already see the headlines. In fact, the headlines were writing themselves at that point. And they were all going to be about Mahomes blowing it for KC. 24 to nothing, Texans. And the Chiefs just need to settle down. You know, everybody's been jittery. But the Master Chief has a way of making the impossible routine. Going up 24 0 was almost like they, they woke, woke a sleeping bear and Mahomes and said, I got this. Cut! 10 5 touchdown! Damian Williams! Touchdown! And they fake it! They snap it to Reed and his. Dirty! Dan makes the big place! Stopping the fake punt. Quickly, this is starting to shift, Jim. I know you thought it was over, but I told you, this Don't team is explosive. Put those words in my mouth. <laughs> if you know Pat Mahomes, you should have known this one was not over. Look at this little sidearm. You should have known that with Mahomes, it's never, ever over. One touchdown, Kelsey. Is Mahomes the clear-cut best quarterback in the National Football League. Yes, he is. Here they come. They're pretty quick to strike, Jim. No, uh, that is as quick a strike as any team in the league, for sure, over the last two years. Ball's out! Picked up by Thompson! Thompson 15 to the 10! He's down to the 8-yard line! D-Train's got it! He's running on Tulsa time! And the Tulsa rookie gets it down inside the Texan 10-yard line! Game on at Arrowhead! Patrick Mahomes is the ultimate eraser. And another touchdown for Kansas City!
he has a little electricity in his arm that reminds me actually more of Favre than Rodgers. Mm -hmm. This is why he's the best player in football. Yeah, I said it. With four touchdowns in the second quarter, the Chiefs had erased the deficit and taken the lead. 20 points in lightning fashion by the Kansas City Chiefs. Great protection. And Travis Kelsey is tearing the Texans up. Drives it in for the touchdown. And the rest of the game was just a formality. He's in. Touchdown, Kansas City. We will look back to yesterday's game because that was the kickstart of his historic, what I believe is going to be a historic career, and especially in the playoffs. Like all athletes, boxers tend to be reluctant to stop. It is my time. This is one time and still champion by tomorrow night. Manny Pacquiao ain't doing nothing to me, baby. Keith Durbin talking about you're going to crucify him and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. And he just Ooh, like, don't say that. I mean, I know he likes to quote Bible verses, so I'll let you know he's getting crucified. He said certain things like, I'm going to send Manny Pacquiao to retirement. I'm going to knock Manny Pacquiao out. I'm going to crucify Manny Pacquiao. Oh, his family felt it. Oh, when I said I'm going to crucify the man, who they said, who? Ah, it's almost as if they had a crown of thorns on them themselves. They felt it. Please welcome the longest current reigning welterweight champion, the hard-hitting, acclaimed, and undefeated WBA welterweight champion of the world, introducing Keith One Time Thurman. Thurman vowed to retire the Pac-Man. To destroy his legacy. Nowhere is the anticipation for the big fight higher than Pacquiao's own hometown and home country of the Philippines. So far, it didn't take long for Manny to remind Thurman who he was. Oh, that goes Thurman! And let me tell you, that was just a quick punch. I would love to be the man that destroys Manny Pacquiao. His legacy is often compared to the greatest, Muhammad Ali. And here we see the Ali shuffle. Both men used their incredible gifts to build up and give hope to those who felt hopeless. For them, every time Manny steps into the ring, it means more roads, hospitals, parks, schools. A professional career that began in January of 1995 when Keith Thurman was six years Even old. In his 24th year as a professional, he's 40 years old. What did we witness tonight, again against the guy who was previously undefeated? In the literal fight of his life, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao is undefeated. While it was his iron will that made him famous, it is his heart that makes him legend. Good right uppercut by Manny. Oh, and a great right hand by Thurman. Time winding down here in round seven. See what Pacquiao's doing right now is giving him different angles. Seeing him beat Keith Thurman at 40 years old, I'm like, damn, this guy's great.
Pacquiao defeated Thurman to become the oldest welterweight champion in boxing history. In favor of the winner, boxing's pride of the Philippines, the ageless wonder, the one and only current WBA welterweight champion of the world. They've already begun the chant of Beat the Bulls. Jordan for three. Got it. What you do has to transcend the generations in order to retain your place as the GOAT. Here's Michael. He's got 21. Michael Jordan always took his game to another level in the playoffs. Jordan pulls up. Like we've never seen before. And connects. 25 for MJ. Six titles, six finals MVPs. That means it was all about you each series. You were the mismatch. He's still Michael Jordan. Whatever he has lost through fatigue, through age, through whatever, has only brought him somewhat back to the field. He still leads the field. He became the most dangerous man alive. Those two three-peats that Jordan has, those are hard, those are hard to compare yep, anything yep. to. None of us ever saw what he was going to do, and we thought he was going to be great. Pippen into Jordan. Michael working on Russell. Brings them to within one. Michael Jordan with 45 points. Six NBA Finals MVPs without ever allowing a game seven. Here comes Chicago, 17 seconds. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player I've ever seen. Better than LeBron, better than Kobe, better than everybody. Jordan, open. Chicago with the lead. NBA championship, and it's their second three-peat. He's without a doubt the greatest basketball player of all time, and he still is. I cannot wait to watch Lamar Jackson. There's nobody more exciting in the entire NFL. He is must-see TV. No, no quarterback in the history of our league has ever had 3,000 yards passing and 1,000 yards rushing in a season. He's well on his Is way. Is Lamar the best quarterback in the NFL? Yes. He's the MVP this season. He's the best. It's just an issue of can he keep this up? The Ravens were now the best offense in football. And a touchdown pass for Jackson. Another one. He's the only player in history to post a perfect passer rating on the road twice. He's on pace to become the first player with 3,000 passing yards and 1,000 rushing yards in a season. Lamar Jackson quickly became the MVP front runner. Stop the comparisons. I, I said it last night, G. Stop comparing Lamar Jackson to anybody you've ever seen play in the league. I know we love to say Michael Vick. There has never been a Lamar Jackson to play in the NFL. He didn't flinch. He did not blink. You're exactly right. And he got a touch! Touchdown out of it! It's not just that he runs, but oh my God, can he run. And he had his Mike Vick moment. That spin move was sort of like his Mike Vick moment. It's a second down and three. Jackson takes it himself. Look at him turn back and forth. Oh! He broke his ankles. Now he's got an entourage. And he's got a touchdown. What a play! He is Houdini! Wow! 
Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson. as you I mean this is calling Mr. Now. Right. The biggest lead was 25 points at 28 to 3 with under two and a half left. The time has come. Execute order 66. <laughs> being the best that ever did it. This is a tie game. Don't ever count Tom Brady out. It is heads. It is heads on the top. The record for most fourth quarter double-digit comebacks. My name is Wolverine. Was the Dallas Cowboys with two. The Pats have three in the last four seasons. He's going for the kill, buddy. Best ever. Best ever in my book. He's not going for the field goal with Gaskowski. He's going to the fun zone. <laughs> <laughs> no in between. Absolute money. Disgustingly sick. The best there is at what I do. But what I do isn't very nice. They have completed the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history. Led by the greatest quarterback. It becomes tiring after that at a certain point, but somebody need to do something about it. Five titles since 2002. One to go. What? The biggest heavyweight fight in years was set. He said that he figured out something. <laughs> Interestingly enough, after he got hit with that big blow in the 12th round of the first fight, and he got, got up at that point and, and, and took the attack to Wilder in that 12th round. It's time for the main. With him saying that he's going to knock me out in the second round, you know, it leads me to to suspect that he's got, for one, his nervous energy. He, you got to think, Deontay Wilder coming into that fight has flatlined every single opponent he's faced except for Tyson Fury. Spectacular wow. entrance by the baddest man on the planet, Deontay Wilder, the heavyweight champion of the world. So he was probably thinking he, he could murk anybody. He mm -hmm. All he has to do is to touch him. Tyson Fury changed trainers. Leading up to this fight, not working with Javon Sugar Hill out of the Kronk Boxing Gym in Detroit. Clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Tyson Fury predicted a knockout in the second. The pundits did exactly what you'd expect them to. Predict a Fury loss. In order for him to knock Wilder out, you got to be willing to take it yourself. I don't know of anybody who's willing to take it from Wilder. I don't think Fury's that dumb. Oh. Big right hand. That snap back the head of Fury. Everything you told me three weeks ago. I'm coming in at 270. It's going to be simple. Balance, fundamentals, one, two. I'm going to lean on him and take him out. He shifted his strategy, having seen a potential weakness in Wilder's defense during their first meeting. Big right hand by Wilder again, and Fury eats it well. But back comes Fury. Oh, my goodness, they're fighting even after the bell. He's landing it. That's what and I'm saying. And Fury's eating it. It's crazy to me. You can't punch. I don't know what you're talking about, knocking somebody in the second round. You ain't never knocked nobody in no second round. You got pillows for fear. He never believed that Tyson Fury was actually going to fight that way. He was going to jump on him. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Tyson said he was going to do that. I know, but... And, like, told him the game plan. Right in. Wilder got clipped. He parted ways with his longtime trainer and took to the famed Kronk Gym where he trained to utilize every pound of his massive frame. And he is putting his body weight on Wilder. Wilder needs to stay away from the rope. From this standpoint, blood streaming a little bit from the mouth of Wilder. Fury was going to dictate the action. 
an unfamiliar position for the Bronx Bomber, whose opponents typically danced away from his mighty power. After 20 years in the league, all with the Lakers. One of the greatest basketball players to ever hit the court. He'll play his final NBA game. Defense leads to offense. <laughs> Kobe's you know, last game tonight represents uh, a 20 year span of life that was the most impactful part uh, of, of, my, of my life for sure. Good. And one. And the five. Looking for a three-point play, KB. 18-time All-Star, five-time NBA champ, and relentless competitor. Up it goes, down it goes! Right for three! Oh, you gotta love it! Kobe Bryant has never cheated the game. He has never cheated us as the fans. He's played through injuries, he's played hurt. And that's the as he peels himself off the deck. That winning one championship, two championships, three championships, four, five, that's possible. You know, to see that every day, that, that's what drove me and that's what drove our teams to the success we were able to have. We have five championship banners to show for it. Yes, sir. There's 40. 40 for Brian. <laughs> Kobe, I mean, he is uh, really from the old school kind of a player that plays for things and makes no excuses. And he's underneath the reverse slam. He is three points away from 50. The cameras are out, documenting the moment. The chance continue to echo through Staples Center. This game equals a 50-point game. Superstar who spent his entire 20 year career with one team. 96 95. 12 attacks. Lyles. Not for three. Lakers will get a chance to take the lead and look who has the ball. He was a cold blooded assassin.
is 8 for 10 from the line. But does he have enough legs to get free throws? We'll see. <laughs> Two free throws for 60. And one of the great farewell performances in any sport. Authored by one of the NBA's all-time greats. Kobe Bryant, 60 points. Twenty-three in the fourth quarter of his farewell game. Man! <laughs> Man. Guys, you know, it's, uh, I can't believe how fast 20 years went by. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, I knew, knew everything about every player that's ever played here. So, to be drafted and then traded to this organization and to spend 20 years here, I mean, you can't, you can't write something better than this. What can I say? Mamba out. Do you remember what you told me when I first met you? You said you were going to be the... The greatest player of all time? Yes. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody. Make it so.